Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, today, it's Thursday night. It's about nine o'clock, and I'm just about to go to bed, as you can probably see. But um, I just wanted to update you where I am in the ongoing wheel drive saga. So two days ago, the supplier of the wheelchair, the wheelchair company who supplied the wheelchair, rang me up and said that he was going to sue me for defamation and damage to brand. Right, so I took that on the chin. I don't regret anything I've done. Um, I'd do it the same way. I can live with what I've done and whatever comes with that, comes with that. But whether I'm being sued for defamation or not, the fact is I still have a wheelchair that is completely unusable. So the last two days, I've been ringing up um, the funding body, Enable, to fix the left wheel, which is malfunctioning. It, can, it turns itself off and on at random. I'm going around in circles. Phone calls go unanswered, messages get left, nothing gets done. Today I had a fantastic day, like it was sunshiny and I went to an SCIA meeting and I saw all my um, friends from the Spinal Cord Injury Association group and we did a, a basic wheelchair skills session and the irony of that is not lost on me. <laughs> but I had a great day. This afternoon I got back home at one o'clock for an appointment with the original OT who prescribed the wheelchair, senior manager and another OT. So I had three OTs come to my house. They stayed for two hours and... I've never felt so completely and utterly demoralised as when they left. The reason for that is, basically what they said was they only ever prescribed the wheel drive for indoor use only. So at my home. And I can't understand that. I can't understand why they have said that. We went around the neighbourhood, up and down the streets, and I showed them clearly, as I have in their YouTube videos, that I can't get up the ramp at the back of my house, the streets, the curb cuts, can't do any of it. And they said that it didn't matter. It doesn't because the product was only prescribed for indoor use. So if it's only prescribed for indoor use, then my home then becomes my prison because I'm now not the independent person that I used to be. I'm not. I can't go anywhere unless I have a carer take me and push me around. And I'm not. I don't need that. I don't need that if I had a wheelchair that could do what it was meant to do, what it was supposed to be scripted for. Oh, oh God. Now, I've got a copy. Hang on a tip. I've got a copy of the original OT report here. So I'm just going to read that. It states, Nina requires a long-term wheelchair that is lightweight, easily accessible and has power assistance to use around the home and when accessing the community. This will allow her to perform meaningful activities and complete her activities of daily living independently. Furthermore, Nina is a young, active lady who enjoys camping and outdoor activities. If this equipment is not provided, i.e. the wheelchair and the power assist, it will have a large impact on Nina's psychological ability to attend community outings. 
this will affect her mental status and therefore she will isolate herself from the community which will affect her overall health and well-being so if the report clearly states that i was meant to be given a product in order to access the community why don't i have that why don't i have that and why does why doesn't anyone step up take responsibility for this and help fix the situation why do people just keep passing the buck backwards and forwards backwards and forwards if i'm going to be sued for defamation that's one thing i can live with that but to be stuck at home like a hermit no i can't live like that when when i got diagnosed with MS and particularly when I was told that it was secretary progressive I thought then that that meant that the system would kick in and as I progress worse and worse I would be given the right types of aids so that I could live the best life possible and I don't know where to go from here I've been advised by some people to go to a current affair today tonight um, the project, does it have to come to that? For vulnerable people with disabilities, do we have to pawn ourselves like that in order to get the best outcome? I've given up a lot. In the last two weeks, I've not been able to go out unless I've had someone with me, a personal assistant, to push, push, push me. How much longer can I keep that up? I've given up going... Um, to uni for the two weeks I took two weeks off because I don't have someone to push me around the campus all day long I'm gonna leave it here but this has taken its toll if anyone can learn anything from this please do not be don't end up in the situation I'm in choose your products wisely do your research find a competent OT and one that listens to you because I don't feel listened to if I was listened to, I wouldn't be in the hole I'm in. And now, I'm not sure how to get out of it, but I just want a wheelchair that will help me access the community as independently as I once was. So happy, funny Nina can come back, because she's gone. Good night.